Hi, I'm Cameron Kirkconnell, and uh, I'm lucky in that tomorrow is the opening of red snapper season. So like the rest of you guys, I've been thinking about this for a long time. And on the east coast of Florida, all the way up through the Carolinas, the red snapper population has been unbelievable. And personally, it's been about six years since I've even tried to go get them for myself personally. And I was lucky then that I shot the world record with spear gun. This is my first chance to go again, so I'm pretty fired up. I've got all my gear laid out and ready to roll. Um, I'm hoping to get a really good fish. I'm really, really hoping to shoot the world record for pole spear. Um, I'm gonna go through my gear today. This is my current gear that I'm using. I'm constantly changing out gear because I'm diving so much, but this is what works for me. Always my, my biggest suggestion is to get what fits you and is comfortable on you. This is just what works best for me from God knows how many hours of diving. So we're gonna go through it. Now I have a mental checklist that I go through every time I leave the house or get on the boat. And it's mask, snorkel, fins, booties, weight belt, gloves, knife, gun, buoy, bungee, float line. <laughs> and your prime number one thing is your mask. Obviously get a mask that fits you, go in and try them all on. This has been my favorite. It's a Cressy Nano. It's small, it's easy, it's simple, and it works. Um, this is probably my fourth or fifth one. The snorkel I use with it is a Rife Stable Snorkel. Between this and the J Snorkel, they're both top notch. This is very simple, very easy to use. Uh, fins is my next one. I have um, Moana fins, which are really exceptional fins. They're nice, they make two different models. I like the shorter ones like this. I've obviously got my other sponsor stickers on there, but Moana makes a great fin. Stingray foot pocket with it, nice and flexible. You can see I've just beat this one to death and it's held up. So great fins. Mass snorkel fins, booties. Booties I use are the Argos. Nice and simple. A couple other companies have knocked these off now. These are the longer ones so I can tuck it up underneath my wetsuit. And then I use the shorter ones too in summertime. Nice, simple, I think they're one and a half or two and a half mil socks. They got enough grip on the bottom and they work great. Mass snorkel fins, booties, weight belt. Weight belt, I've still got a lot of weight on this from my last trip, which was hunting bluefin tunas. Um, so I'll take a couple weights off of this. I'll keep the brightest ones on so it's easier for the guys above me to see me. My knife is on here. I use a, a red tide dive knife, which is really easy and simple to use and I can just pull it out like that. There's always these different you know, clasps and stuff that people use to lock them on there, but the easiest, simplest way is just to put that over the top. That way I can grab it with either hand and pull it and it just comes out. Um, use a double serrated blade. I cut a lot of chum, I gut all the fish, I gill all the fish, so I want something that I can not even think about. I don't wanna to have to sharpen it or anything. The next thing is, is gloves. These are Camera Kirkconnell gloves, <laughs> um, ironically enough. Uh, we wanted to, to create a, gr a glove, myself and Brad from Headhunter, that held up for what we like to do, which mostly is pole spearing and, and catching you know, big fish. We put this on the back of the hands to protect them really well, and I did the palms so they grip the pole spear really well. We came up with the idea, because I was working on ships at the time, and we had really nice protective gloves, and we went through probably 20 pairs before we were able to develop this one. Again, everybody's knocked it off since then. It's a fantastic glove, but make sure you get something that grips really well and protects you. I always want my knuckles protected because I'm always putting them in the fish's gills and they always get torn up. So now we're getting into the kind of terminal tackle here. And you see I've got two different buoys. My bigger buoy is a pretty simple buoy. Basically, it's it's a it's a big, um, I think this, these are 30 liters or so. It's yellow, it's bright, everybody can see it. It doesn't have any weight or anything on it, it just floats. Um, and the guys can see it from a long way away. I've got a 100, um, 100 foot uh, Rife Armor Spectra float line, which is really low drag, it's thin, it's easy to move through the water. And I've replaced the normal clips, the tuna clips, with a snap swivel so it's even smaller again in the water and I clip this off to the back of the pole spear and I'll show you how to do that in a bit. Um, the little buoy, 
I use this depending on how the current is. I'll clip this off halfway to get the line up above me in case like it's the current is weird or something just to keep it up out of the wrecks or rocks or whatever. And when we're working around structure that I need to like swim through stuff, I'll put this on the back of it instead of the big buoy just to have the float line up. And if need be, I can swim all the way through and pull this all the way through. I've got another backup mask. I've got my light. This is a, a Neptonics light, which is really good. It's really bright. Um, it has the choice of either rechargeable batteries or um, it takes uh, AAAs. So I'll always bring spares of those. Um, that's, the, that's kind of the, the core gear. The next bit is water temp. It's gonna be pretty warm tomorrow. Um, the sun's gonna be out. Uh, the water temp has been really hot. I think it's in the mid 80s. Personally, I always like to be covered. I'm such a wuss, like I'm in the water. I don't wanna get stung by anything. It just makes for a miserable day. Um, also, when you're free diving properly, you should be really, really relaxed. So it's easier to get cold. This is a 1.5 millimeter two-piece suit from Headhunter as well. Um, he basically created a, a suit for us diving in the summer. Um, this one doesn't even need any lube. You slide it on and it's, it's a great, super flexible suit. The, the technology in the wetsuits now is unbelievable. Again, find your right size that you want, something that fits you comfortably. If, I mean, this is a beautiful camo pattern, but just get what you like and what works for you. Um, if it's too hot, I'll probably just wear a rash guard. This is a little thicker rash guard uh, that Salt Life has that's really nice. Um, the only challenge with that is it doesn't have a hood, so I'll just lather up with, um, with suntan lotion. So that's my coverage there. Now in the boat, people often overlook this, even in the summer, I always bring my foul weather gear. This is, uh, these are bibs. So these are Grundon's bibs, which are really nice and dry. I'll put those on with a jacket on on top. And everybody wants to go with, you know, some cool dark color or whatever. I'm in the sun a lot, I'm in the tropics. I want something that's, that's light colored. And also, if, God forbid, you need something in an emergency, this is a really bright color. It's really easy to see in the water. Would you rather be this color or this color when somebody's looking for you? I'd rather be this. All right, so now cameras. I'm gonna be diving with a, with a, a partner. We'll be doing one up and one down, but I still wanna film. So I've been using for the last couple years the Paralens camera, which I've been really happy with. It looks just like my flashlight. It's very hard, very, um, very simple and easy to use. I've made a couple uh, alterations on it to make it easier for myself to, to tell when it's on top of my head what position it's in. It beeps and vibrates, which makes it easier, but you can see I've made it easier on myself to tell what position the camera is in because this is how you switch it from on and off camera video. I've super glued a crimp onto there and a, another piece of um, plastic onto that so that I can easily tell when it's on my head what position I'm in. And then again, it vibrates, so it makes it really easy. So I've got that, I've got a charger in here, and then I've got multiple different mounts and zip ties that I keep just in case I need to adjust. Um, and in the next video, I'll show you how to mount this thing on your head so that you can keep it on your wetsuit and it's, it's basically hands-free. So the last bit that's gonna go in this bag are gonna be my knives. Um, we're gonna be cleaning big fish, hopefully. Um, so big red snapper, this is a nine inch um, semi-flexible blade by Bubba. Um, and I've got, I've always got a bag with me as well that I just keep Ziplocs ready to go. Um, you can put ice in here and as soon as you cut the fillets, you can put them in here. And then I've got a trash bag for the bigger pieces that I want to take home, like the heads and the collars and stuff like that. Um, last bit is in the boat. I'm going to have a little GoPro. Um, instead of bringing my big camera housing, I'm just going to have this set up so that as soon as I get out of the water, I can grab this and talk to you guys about the, uh, the fish that I get. Now I've got all this gear. I'm going to put it in my bag. The, uh, the bags that I've been using for 
kind of the day, I call it a day bag, is a ghillie. This is a ghillie bag, it's really well built. It's pretty, pretty sturdy and it breathes really well. So it dries off very, very quickly. Um, I've always got a couple of other smaller bags in there. I put like slip tips in, um, put whatever small gear in that. And I have a lot of different options for stuff to put in this bag. Um, if I was traveling, if I was flying somewhere, I would keep this folded up and I'd put it in all everything in a big roller bag until I got there. That way it's easier to travel through the airport. But I'm going to drive up there today and it'll make it a lot easier just having one bag and this simple setup. Thank you guys for watching today. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and that will inspire me to do more of this and include you guys more in our adventures.